Hi lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to show you how you convert a picture into an SVG and actually how you can add colour layers to it as well. So I've got a picture here. I could pretend that a child had drawn it but actually I drew it using my left hand and I think even if I'd used my right hand it would still look like a child had drawn it. So the ideal thing that you want to do is have it on white paper. That's the first thing. Now they can come in and colour in. The most important part to this is that if they want to have different colours, so this be vinyl, for example, and they want colours on the body, they want colours in the um, mane and on the horn, then it has to be a closed area. So if you've got lots of open lines, you're going to struggle with that. It's still doable, but it makes it a little bit harder. So if they want a pink vinyl body, for example, then they must make sure that the body is enclosed. We're then going to take a picture of this, or you can scan it, completely up to you. And then we're going to upload it to either our phone or our computer. If you're scanning it, of course, it goes straight to your computer. If it's already on your phone, you can simply keep it on there and go to the website we're going to go to. If you need to get it from your phone to your computer, then you can send it directly to your Dropbox, for example, and then get it from your Dropbox onto your computer. Or as I say, you can scan it straight to your computer. So you can see it's in my Dropbox there. So I'm just going to download that to my computer. If I go into my pictures, there's my photo. So a really good website to use is something called Pick SVG. Now you can convert it using third party programs, but this way is nice and quick. And I find Pick SVG and I find Pick SVG is really good. So we're going to upload picture, select our photo. And then you'll see we've got different styles we can use. So we can choose invert one. Invert two, there's not much difference between those two. Invert three, we've got a few speckles coming up. Four, that'll give us a solid color there. And then we can do ready, one, two, and three. And of course you can take that out if you want to. I like invert two, so I'm gonna stick with that one and I'm going to download the SVG. And there we have the download. If we come into Design Space, we can go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and we're going to bring in that SVG we've created. So I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. Because we've got solid lines with this in closed lines, it hasn't come in as a great big file with lots of individual lines. So it will make your life a lot easier as well. So first things first, I want to have a quick play with the text. So I'm going to ungroup this. And I'm just going to grab that text. And bring it over here a bit. And I'm going to rotate it just so it's a bit straighter. And then I've got lots of options with this. I could just weld it all together now. So I could just weld my text and have it cut as one colour. But if I wanted lots of different colours, so for example, I wanted my first name in one colour, I can either attach or weld, it doesn't matter, but obviously if you weld and then you save and you close design space down, you can't unweld. So either weld or attach. I've attached and I'm going to change the colour, let's say to green. I can do the same with that one, attach it. and change it to blue and then the same with that one and I could make that a, I don't know, a pink. So then I've got my unicorn. So if we look at our layers, you'll see our unicorn is solid, but then we've got a separate nose piece and the eye. So for example, if I want the eye to be a specific color I can let's go with a let's go with an orange 
And I could do that as just an individual cut if I wanted in a blue. Now, let's say I want my unicorn actually coloured in. So I'm going to duplicate it a few times. And what I'm going to do before I duplicate is I'm just going to hide my text just so I can see better what I'm doing and I'm not going to get confused. And I'm also going to hide the nose piece and the eye. So I'm just dealing with that unicorn body. So I'm going to duplicate that. Let's say five times. I'm going to highlight, align and centre. And if we look at our layers panel here, we've got our layers. So I'm going to choose that top one and I'm going to change it to pink. And I'm then going to go to my contour tool at the bottom of my layers panel. And I'm going to hide all contours. And you'll always have the top one left so we can get rid of that in a minute. So I want the body to be pink and then I can remove that one. So when I close it down, I've then got a pink body. The next one I'm going to have pink as well because I want that leg pink. So again, I'm going to choose that pink colour, go to my contour, hide all contours, select the leg, remove the top piece, and I've then got a solid leg. If I want to, I can then hide those other pieces for a moment and that original layer. And I can come in and weld those together so that it cuts exactly as you see it. Because they're the same colour, so I might as well have them as the same. I can then bring my other layers back. So my next layer, let's make that one gold. And again, I can go to my contour, I can hide all contours and I can select the unicorn horn and the nose and then remove that top piece there and I could even do some of the hair pieces if I wanted and of course you can zoom right in. So let's do that piece of hair there and leave it at that. And then for this layer, let's do purple, contour, hide all contours. And this time we're going to choose the inside hair pieces. Of course, take away that top bit. And then I've decided I actually want one more but I've only got the one layer. So if I duplicate that layer again, and if I look at my, if I just select that original layer, it's at two and two. So I can move this one to two and two. That one I'm going to change to, let's do a blue and go to my contour. Hide all contours, select the hair piece and remove the outline. And actually on that blue, I can also do that piece of tail. What I can then do is bring back my nose and I can arrange and send that to front. Let's put that there. I think Design Space is having a moment, but that's okay. We can arrange and send that to front and bring it over like so. And then of course we can bring our text back as well. And I want that in a different color because we don't want it the same color as our horse. And then there we go. We've changed a drawing into a multi-layered SVG. 
So we can then go to make it and you can see all our layers there and then we can start cutting our vinyl out. I'm going to do it in vinyl today but of course you could do it in iron on or whatever you wanted to do it in. gone from a drawing to a vinyl block. As long as your lines are closed you'll be able to do this with any image the children draw. As always thank you for watching please do subscribe hit that like button make sure you click the notification bell and if you've got any comments or questions please do leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!